Hi, my name is Ian, and I'm a G Suite support expert here at Sweetbriar. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to create a group and add members. Now let's get started. To start, we will go to the admin panel by browsing to admin.google.com or by using the app launcher in the top right corner while logged into a Google app with an administrator account, then select admin. First, we will go over creating a group. So to begin, we're going to go into groups. Here we see a list of all current groups, the email addresses for those groups, and the number of members in each one. Click Create Group near the top of the page. The first screen will be used to set the name of the group, a short description, email address used to send emails to the group, and the group owner. When you have the information you want entered, click Next. On the next screen, we will set access and permissions for the group. First, we will cover the access types. Public is open to anyone in your organization. Depending on your settings, it can also be open to people outside of your organization. Groups with the public setting might get more spam messages. Team, use this setting for a specific internal department or team. Announcement only is used to broadcast information to a group. For example, use this setting for a group that receives company news. Restricted is used for a private group setting for employees who share private or sensitive information. Custom shows that settings have been manually configured. Next will be the access settings. These settings form the basis of what people are allowed to do in the group. The external category includes anyone outside your organization. Under membership settings, there are three check boxes that allow different permission levels to manage group members. The default setting for this is recommended. For the who can join the group setting, we get three options, and I will give a brief description of those. Anyone in the organization can ask, is for people, and the organization must ask and then be approved before they can join the group. Anyone in the organization can join means that people in the organization can add themselves to the group directly. And finally, only invited users, which means people can join the group only if they're invited. The toggle switch at the bottom would either allow or disallow members in the group from outside the organization. The final screen that will appear will give you shortcuts to add members to the group, see group details, or create a new group. We will click Done to get back to the group console page. Next, we will go over adding members to the group. There are several ways to go about this, so bear with me. I won't go into a lot of depth for each method, but it will make you aware of the options. There is no right or wrong here, but hopefully you find a method that works best for you. First, we will find the new group on the group's console. Click the member section, then click the yellow plus sign to add a member. When entering a name or email address into the field, you can press enter to autocomplete or click the person you would like from the autofill options and add multiple people from this screen. If you want to make your group include every user in the organization, we can click on advanced in the bottom left of the pop-up window. If you select the checkbox here, all current and future users will be added to this group. Usually this is used for an all staff group and is convenient for making company announcements. Click add to group when you're done adding members. While still on the new group page, if we hover over the yellow plus sign, we also have the option to bulk upload members. On this screen, there is a CSV template provided to assist with formatting the CSV needed to attach. In the group's console, we can also hover over the name of the group that you'd like to add users to, then click on add members to the right of the group name to have the same pop-up appear that we just saw with the first method. The last method I'm going to cover will be in the Users Console. This method is useful when adding a single user to multiple groups. You are also able to hover over users in the list here, like in the group screen mentioned previously, then click Add to Groups. We can search for the group we want to add the user to, and we can add the user to multiple groups from this screen as well. The long way would be to click on the user we would like to add to the group or groups, Click on the group section, then click the yellow plus sign. We get the same pop-up window here that we've seen previously. Thank you for watching. For more videos from Sweetbriar, 
visit our website at www.sweetbriar.com. If you have questions regarding your G Suite instance, visit our help desk at sweetbriar.zendesk.com for assistance.